logistics. Stop worrying about us. You got a big warehouse, a big store, and a big mouth. Big belly. Hey guys, and welcome back to Filmvert. In this video, we are going to discuss some of the most epic and insane moments of Storage Wars that just don't make any sense. Make sure to watch until the end, as you do not want to miss any of this. There are funny and even weird moments on the show, and we have made a whole new list for this. But, before we begin the video, we want you to hit that like button, click on subscribe, and make sure to comment anything nice down below. Show us some love, so that we can keep on bringing more entertaining content like this to your way. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Number 1, Toys 1930, Brandy and Jared. Brandy and Jared share a really cool and cute bond. While Brandy is a serious person, Jared is the loud and talkative one. This became even more evident and funny when they found a locker with a doll. This was not any normal doll, but it was built back in the 1930s. By the looks of it, the doll was pretty creepy and Brandy didn't like it at all. She was freaking out off the doll, and Jared took the opportunity. He held the doll and started making weird noises, which made Brandy get even more scared. But things didn't really go well for the doll. When they got the doll checked from the professionals, they found out it was worth $50 only. This was a bummer, and Brandy decided to end the chapter in her own terms. Brandy gave the doll to the dogs, and they tore it apart. This way, Brandy decided to get rid of all the potential scares from Jared for good. Kids aren't going to college or anything, but yeah, and they ain't that smart anyways. <laughs> we got it sorted, we got it pri Number 2, Dave Hester, Newspaper. Dave Hester is a really smart businessman. He bids only when he knows the true value of the stuff, or just to tease off some other bidders and increase the price. He calculates and makes decisions based off his experience, and that is why he makes some of the best purchases ever. But this time, his instincts did not click in. It was a storage unit filled with newspaper, and Dave decided to bid for it, just for curiosity. He wanted to see why there are so many newspapers in the unit. While others thought that it was insanity and worthless, Dave thought otherwise. His decision came out to be a really good one, and they were limited edition and collectible newspapers. It became one of the best buys for Dave, as it paid him over $90,000 just for the newspapers. Get your weight at 3100 There's no competition around here. You're a douchebag. That's Mr. Number 3, Daryl Paintings. Daryl is nothing less than a gambler. If he finds something interesting, he would go all out to buy it. Something similar happened in this episode, where Daryl got his eyes on some really good looking paintings. He decided to bid on it really aggressively, as he wanted to get his hands on it. He bought the locker finally by paying over $3,000. This might seem to be an expensive purchase, but it was all worth it. When Daryl got it checked, the painting collection turned out to be of insane value. These were originals, and the collectors would give anything to get their hands on them. As a result, the professional marked that collection at a mind-boggling price of $300,000. This is not only the biggest profit for Daryl Sheets, but also the highest amount of money made by anyone on the whole show. Hold on just a minute. $300,000? Number 4, Dead Man. There are some extra episodes in the show where the bidders don't go out and buy lockers. Instead, all of them sit together and talk about some of their bidding memories. It was one of the shows where one bidder told that she found a dead body in the locker. If this was not enough to creep you out, Daryl and Dave Hester joined in with their experiences as well. Dave said that he has found creepy stuff in multiple storage units, where he found human ashes, human bones, and some more creepy stuff. Daryl also told that he found a complete set of human skeleton in one of his purchases. It turned out to be a skeleton used by medical students to learn more about the human body. So there is much more to that storage than the units hold the usual stuff, and one can never really be ready for what to expect. Especially in the Hollywood scene. And Hester never brought it up in the suit either that it was forced to- Number 5, Anonymous Chest. This is the biggest profit made ever on the show Storage Wars, but it is not well known because this was not made by one of the main casting members of the show. Someone bought a storage unit, and he found a chest in the area. It was so old and heavy that it took three men to lift it up and carry. When they opened it, they found that the chest was full to the brim with gold. It was worth over $600,000 and totally left everyone in shock. The buyer never made an appearance on the show because he wanted to stay anonymous with his purchase. Clearly, that was a good call to save all his money just for himself. Oh, it's like a for a crib. Look. Oh, it's like a dress. I know. I thought it was all wedding it's for dress. babies. Yeah, $5? $10. $10 it is? This weekend, uh... With this, we have come to the end of the video. There are some really interesting and absolutely insane moments on the show. Which one's your favorite? Do let us know down in the comments section. For more such fun videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next one.